But you don't even know that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But that's my Auntie May. Sorry if your name is May. That's my cousin Lucy. Sorry if your name is Lucy. <laughs> that's my Uncle Bob. Sorry if your name is Bob. You just don't let anybody speak. You have to be able to see what they are saying beyond the voice. Yes. You have to be able to say, mm -mm -mm -mm. even if you leave the place and you are caught to you, you stop where you are. I tell you that. I reject that. Amen. That's not my portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You ain't fighting nobody. All you're doing is stopping the voice of witchcraft. All right. Isn't it amazing that when people have bad dreams and they wake up, they start talking about it? Isn't it? Yeah. You have bad dreams, something bad happened to you, and you start, immediately you are nervous, you are panicky. Mm. Why are you panicky? Just tell the voice of which I was telling you, I got you. Mm. My God. You're supposed to not look at it and say, okay, I cancel that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the, that's the key Thank word, you. not my life. Yeah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at that verse 32 very, very well. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues, they have used deceit. Uh huh. The poison of ash is it's under their lips. lips. You see that? Look at verse 14 again. Whose mouth is full of cursing and what? Bitterness. Their teeth are swift to shed what? Blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Mm -hmm. The way of peace they have not no. known. Wow. There's no fear of God before their eyes. Mm -hmm. Talking about the voice mm -hmm. of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Please think about this very well. Mm -hmm. Every son, cousin, Nieces, nephew, that your family heard prophecy about their life, and you broadcast it. Check their life now, they are struggling. Why? Because when you are saying that, some people are saying it with you, they don't really mean what they're saying. They are telling you the opposite of what they're saying. There are times when some people will say good morning, but they are telling you good night. At times people say, oh, it's 12 noon, but it's 12 midnight. Mm -hmm. All they're trying to do is to set you up with words. That's why we as believers, we as Christians, we, we as faith people, we as God people, God's people must speak positive. And when negative comes, silence it. Learn to pray and say every evil word I have today. As they're not going to let you down. Me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Shut them down. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Shut them down. Amen. 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 And we have to learn how to present words. Thank you, God. So that the enemy doesn't have something to walk over. Do you know what you say? You once you say you hate something, you won't be able to love it again. Oh my God. Glory. And we have that saying in America, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Mm -hmm. I hate you, I hate you. And everybody is filled with, every place is filled with hate. Mm -hmm. Voice of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. So what do you do with it? I'm going to say this scripture at hand with this. Psalm 143. Psalm chapter 143. 140 plus 3. The verse we're going to read here is verse 12. Psalms, chapter 143, and verse 12. And of thy mercy cut off thine enemies. Okay. And destroy all them that afflict my soul. Uh -huh. For I am thy servant. At your mercy cut off my enemy. And destroy all of them that afflict my soul. Hear me, part of the things that witchcraft does is affliction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Watch this. I'm going to use this as an example of a very good prayer. Let's say it's Governor Lily, or Bishop John, or Bishop Brown, or Reverend Victoria. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Erica. And, and they just look at Erica and say, maybe it's something, maybe they just, just a slip of talk and they say, they ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. And she, Erica ain't nothing. Do you know something in your mind would be, keep on playing that? Every time you see her, the first thing you will think is seeing nothing. Why? Because the voice of authority said it. That's why Jesus said to, to Simon, Simon Peter, Satan, get back now. Now. You ain't going to speak this into my life. He's now Peter. He was talking to He's speaking to the voice that's behind him. Remember when I told you the other day? Jesus casting out demons during deliverance, and a demon was speaking. And Jesus said, Okay, you were just curious. Why are you so stubborn? What's your name? No, no, I'm not talking about this. You are not stubborn. You are not stubborn. You are not stubborn. I reject that in the name of Jesus. That's what you, that's what you have to learn to say now. I'm not stubborn. Amen. Right. Because the Bible says it. We read that the other night. Mm -hmm. Remember the first night of Sunday yeah, night? Yeah. First Samuel 15, 23. Mm -hmm. It says stubbornness is as iniquity or as iniquity, iniquity of idolatry. Mm -hmm. So once you say you are stubborn, you are telling us there is a God inside of you different from Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But that's not your portion. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, since just rebellious, you are calling her a witch. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what we are saying. Silence the voice of witchcraft around you. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Thank you. That's the extra time. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, I have wi Thank you, God. Now, I want you to be You hear what I'm scared to say? Yeah. My wife will tell you this. If you come to me for money and you don't have it, you will not hear me say I don't have it. I'll just tell you, let's work out with you. Come back. Talk to me later. I'll get it for you. Even though I don't have it. But once I say I don't have it, I cannot have it. Yeah. Who said I don't have it? Me. Oh, you should have told them you don't have it. No, I'm not going to break it. Place a curse on me because of anybody. Amen. Yeah. God is asking for something to say, I don't have it. You will never have it. Glory, glory. The devil always speaks negative to our mind. And it comes out of our mouth as a poison. Some of the lifestyle and trouble we have now is as a result of voices of witches in your neighborhood, in your hood, in your family, auntie, uncle, cousin, yourself, old boyfriends, that Billy Goat. <laughs> Voice. Can I ask you a question? And I'm sorry, I'll, this is the third one. I'll close with this. Have you ever watched Governor Lily? I know you're watching, but I just want you to be curious. I want you to be curious for me. Curiosity. That's what it is. Governor Lily? Bishop John, Pastor May, Bishop John Brown, and they are praying for you. You see, when they are praying for you to heal you and apply virtue, they will be talking. <coughs> if you listen to Bishop John, Bishop Brown sometimes, if you are not spiritual, you will think he's saying something different from what he's praying about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever listened to him? Yeah. And they will just pray. And they will begin to pray in tongues. I will begin to say, ah, this happened. This also so mm -hmm. What he's saying is, he's using word, only word, mm -hmm. to pull what happened before yeah. to this place. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, well, that daughter was sick in California when we pray, when we pray, when we pray, when we pray, mm -hmm. and God defeats him. All is reminding angels that walk that day. Come here and walk now. Amen. Amen. That 
is good words. Mm -hmm. So, but when they are reminding you of your bad life, mm -hmm. when your uncle, your sister, your cousin is telling you, you ain't not doing well, you're anyway, you nasty on you. What they are doing is calling all demons that had control of that to come and walk again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we have to silence the voice of demons. Mm -hmm. glory, glory, glory. I say we have to silence the voice of witchcraft. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the purpose to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what we're here tonight. Mm -hmm. Words spoken that sounds like innocent. Mm -hmm. Innocent words. Mm -hmm. But they're from the mind of the gods. Mm -hmm. If you know Every time you try to do something to achieve something, unknowingly something will just shut it down, come out. Mm -hmm. I won't say it one more time. Because it sounds like I'm speaking grammar. Yeah. <laughs> if in your life, anytime you try to do something good, mm -hmm. we have a dream that will mess it up, or something will just steal it from you, mm -hmm. a word is fighting you. A poison has been thrown into your life. Yes. Mm -hmm. A venom is working oh, against oh. your good good deeds. Mm -hmm. You help people, they pay you back with their scorn. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Word has been spoken against your life. Mm -hmm. glory, glory. What is prayer? Word. Come here, Mary. <laughs> Father, bless her. Watch Amen. me. Father, bless her. Amen. Increase her. Amen. Provide for her. Amen. Give her greatness. Amen. What am I saying? I'm, what am I doing? Blessing. I'm more blessing. Those are words. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Isn't it? Yes. And we believe it's going to work. Yes. When people are speaking the negative of that too, mm -hmm. it's going to do what? Work. 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 Because they are bad of words. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. When you say something positive, you are giving angels duty to do. Amen. When you say something negative, you are calling demons to come and eat. And hear this. Hear this, don't ever forget this. If you are truly saved and you are baptized with the Holy Ghost and you go to church, when you speak negative words, demon may not come to eat it, but fallen angels will come and carry it out. Mm. That's why negative words in the church is what is killing all of us. Fallen angels being fed to work against you. Thank you. Every negative word that shut your progress down, we cancel it tonight in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I said we cancel it in the name of yeah. Jesus. I said we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, come, come, Thank you. Come, come here. Come here. Come here, Vanessa. Huh. Watch you. this. This is money, isn't it? Huh. Yeah. You just said, just believe this is money, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. I want to give money to Vanessa. Don't be scared. You shake, why are you shaking? <laughs> you're, not, you're just nervous, that's all. That's, that's, okay. that's all it is. Uh -huh. It's all right. I want to give her money. All right. And it's already in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I spoke to Erica, right? Mm -hmm. I spoke with Erica. You know, I want to give your mom something. She said, don't give it to her. Mm -hmm. She ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. She ain't going to use it well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what she said will stop me from giving to her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think she just did? She mm -hmm. just bewitched her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God. Hey. So most of us are working the work of witches. Mm. My God. Thank you, Lord. Lord. I, I'm not saying that's what happened. That's a man. Right, right. I'm just giving you a picture mm -hmm. of how voice of witchcraft stop people from getting blessings. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So many people all over Ocala, mm. Brooksville, their destiny to be healed, to be trained, to be promoted is in the holy band. Mm -hmm. yeah. But because somebody is saying something yes. out there, yes. mm -hmm. they won't come here and they will mm -hmm. die in their yes. problem. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So whoever speaks to them has bewitched them. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do you and did you hear me now? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah, my leg hurt. No, oh, no, no. I'm healing in Jesus' name. Yes. Once you say my leg hurt, it's gonna hurt more. Yeah. Yes. Oh my <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You hooping and hollering with the Holy Ghost, then shut witchcraft down with your voice. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. I'm getting angry right now. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So if you know every time you try to get a blessing, something will just choke it from you. Come Hallelujah. On. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before I tell you to pray, I will do just little deliverance. Do you know there's what you call prayer of bewitchment? Do you know Holy Ghost few people pray prayer of bewitchment? Put your hands together. I will start praying against Erica. When we're praying, oh God, oh God. Erica offended us. Lord, destroy Erica. And Jesus said, come here, come here, come here. You ain't going to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, Amen. Anyone that tried to curse you, Amen. it shall backfire. Amen. 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 So while they're doing that, they think they're doing what is right. Uh -huh. But what they were doing is giving assignment to fallen angels uh -huh. to stop God's children. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. That, is, that is what I call sweet poison. Uh -huh. It's called sweet poison. It tastes good, but it's gonna kill you. It's just like cookie and candy. She don't tell you, what do you want for breakfast, candy? It tastes good, but when you are 40, 24 years old, you're gonna have diabetes. You will be stabbing yourself every three times a day. Sweet poison. So words and things that people do in the name of vengeance are usually bewitchment. They offend me. They talk about me. Something happened recently. I need you to hear this. One of my sons, I don't get used to him. I'm, you know, there's some sound, you rather stay back a little bit. He just called me, Bishop Brown, and his wife. He said, we're in trouble. Our church is, is depleted. And I've been to that church before. He said, last Sunday, we were just six. I'm like, I couldn't breathe. You know why? The church was about 300. Mm. Mm. I couldn't breathe. Like, you kidding me? He said to me, he said, I'm not kidding. He said, as a matter of fact, out of those few people left, somebody just called him and said, we're leaving the church. I'm like, oh no, something else is wrong. OK, give me time. Let me pray. I said, I pray. And when I was praying, you know what God told me? God told me it's one of your people that bewitch her. Ah. Bewitch him. One of my people. Mm. I'm like, no, I don't have nothing to do with this. God said you have something to do with that. Because you ordained the person who did it. Mm. Wow. How? And God began to talk. Not knowing God told them. Here's what happened. A prophet told them, mm. you are close to an archbishop. Go find him. The source of your problem is in his hand. If you can't get him, get another archbishop. Because what is fighting your church and you is priesthood. So they call me, I went on my knee, and the name of Jesus, speak to me. And God just mentioned the name of the person who did He God didn't even waste time. So I pick up the phone. My wife was there, and I called the person and said, Did you pray against so 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 church? And he said, Because they offended me. You forgot that's God's church? He said, well, she said, well, how did she put it? What about the occult when they do something to each other? Don't they revenge? Wow. Said, how, about, how, about, how about people in gang? Wow. Occultic people, when they offend each other, don't they fight back? Okay. And I said, so is that your belief? Mm. You fasted and no food, no water for seven days, and the church of God is scattered. Guess who carried it out? No demons, fallen angels. Angels. Maybe only one people would think very well over what I just said now. You better think. You better think deep. Maybe you will think into your life that people you are praying with. Mm -hmm. In fact, that person I'm talking about, 
since then I have not talked to the person. Mm. Mm. The person called me, sent a message to me from Paris, from France. Oh, I'm having a problem. When I hang up, I said, that problem will not go away. Mm. Why? You already didn't study innocent with witchcraft. That's witchcraft. You may not know. That's witchcraft. You may not know. What she did was witchcraft. You scattered God's church. Those who are supposed to be blessed. Are you ready? Yes. Who knows what somebody said to you? Who knows who they consulted against you? Anytime you think somebody owes you something, that's why you go out of your way to destroy them. Wow. Repent! Or those scriptures we read that God says is going to judge. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And I'm going to say this, a pastor pray against another pastor. <coughs> Where he was preaching, he ran mad. Oh, he became insane. Mm. Why? Because God decided to fight back. <laughs> If you want to do voodoo, do voodoo. Leave church alone. Yeah. Want to do root, root work, go do it. Leave church alone. Amen. But you don't be in church and begin to destroy people. Wow. Wow. No. Amen. No. Judgment is coming. Yes. Trust me. This afternoon, God told me I must say this. Whether you believe it or not, God, judgment is coming to only Ben. Quick. Judgment is coming. God already said it. He said, things is going to happen that you people, will not, you've not seen it before. Why? Because some people have crossed the line. And God is tired of the mess. Everybody has to change. Everybody has to stop saying negative. Stop killing people. Stop killing the church. Are you right? Ooh, yeah. Who is right? Come on, yeah. We're all messed up. Yes. Yes. We're all jacked up. Yes. Just because I'm an archbishop doesn't mean I'm not human. Mm. Right. I don't know how human I am. Ask this woman. Mm. I looked at her one day and said, man, you have an anointing because I won't marry me. <laughs> this is the truth. Mm. I won't marry me. If I'm looking for a wife, I won't be the one I'll marry. Yes, this same warrior, when he has to fight at home, he's just like he's fighting, fighting a demon. Mm -hmm. The same voice against the demon rises in the house, everybody run away. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm a warrior, period. Of course, I'm getting older now, so I've changed. <laughs> <laughs> what, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying to you, we need to change. Amen. Repent of what you've done, what you've done wrong. Yes. Oh, yeah. Amen. And whoever you spoke Amen. negative over, Ask God to forgive you and God to reverse it. Yes. Or else there's no way out. Trust me. You see that dream? I don't know who had a dream that somebody walked out of this door and fell dead. You. Come here. Tell them this dream now. Uh, I had a dream that Bishop Benbury had came back from the dead. And, so and that's prophetic. That's spirit of a prophet. Go ahead. And um, someone, uh, you look like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma and my uncle Ren was talking to Bishop Van Berg and they was telling him about, you know, they needed me, they wanted me to go to his church to preach and, you know, how God was using me and stuff like that. And uh, the moment they walked away, uh, someone came to them and they was like, oh, oh you don't need to get him at your church, he ain't nothing. Uh, his grandmother made nothing. It's always about the Hanks, 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 Hanks. They ain't nothing. And Bishop Brown was up at the altar. He was praying. And he got mad. And he said, hush. I say, hush now. He said, touch not my anointing. Do my prophet no harm. And they died. Wow. Really? That means the voice of witchcraft is trying to stop God's process. Amen. Yes. And God decided to judge it. Hallelujah. That's a warning. That's a warning. Mm. Trust me, that's a Thank warning. Mm. That's a warning. Merciful. I was in Brooksville the other night. Mm -hmm. The night that I came, that was on Thursday. Mm -hmm. They gave me a microphone to speak. Weird. That was Wednesday mm -hmm. for me to speak. As I stood there, I just heard God say, it's a brilliant moment. I just said something. I said, take the microphone. Mm. 
Mm. It is God's choice who he uses. Right. It's none of my business. That's right. Amen. It's either you support God or it's going to run you over. Amen. You ain't nothing. Mm. Watch your mouth. Oh, thank you. Watch your mouth. Thank you. All those girls, those twins, happy baby, without getting married, excuse me, are you only yourself? Amen. Come on here. Yeah. Just because we don't see what you watch on the internet? Come on. Amen. Amen. All kind of mess. Oh, Thank those God. people are on drugs before. How about your own uncle? Come on here. Yeah. Oh. No. All this voice of witchcraft that is stopping the church. Stop it now. Thank you. Jesus. It doesn't cause, cause nothing to bless us. Amen. He can bless us anytime. He can heal us any moment. We have to change ourselves. Watch what we say out of our mouth. Don't be an angel at church and the devil at home. Come on. Now, this can help us now. We can do deliverance now. You are angry or you are happy? It doesn't matter whichever one. I'm doing what God said, do. I pay price to come here. The moment I put it on Facebook, I'm coming to Ocala. The yeah. devil hit me two minutes after. Mm. I couldn't even fly to get here. Mm. That's how much I was in pain. Mm. I had to catch the train. I was in the emergency room about three times. Mm. They can find nothing wrong. Mm. He has to do deliverance for me on the phone. Mm. But I knew it was about here. Oh, 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 yeah. God already told me, you're going there and talk about witchcraft. Thank you're going to go back there and teach those workers how to do deliverance. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And, I'm a, and I know it very well. Mm. People have been attacked. Attack is going on mm. here and there, and mm. nobody sees it. Mm -hmm. But we are starting it now. Amen. 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 Oh. Amen. 